Can you say your whole name? Yes, Shaylin McClanahan. Okay. And I just want you to know, I'm I, an uh, independent journalist. I've been taking courses in journalism now at UMKC. My master's is in political science. Mm -hmm. And I'm a featured contributor writer for Yahoo. Okay. And so I'm trying to get this story to be published on Yahoo. I know it will be published, but whether it's Yahoo News or their contributor site, uh, uh, Voices. The, the, I did a story recently on the farm drought, and I sent the link to Levi. Okay. And I, I was basically, basically saying, you guys were the only people saying you are going to help me. Because I've been, you know, we were talking about the farmer, and, and I went all the way from Craig Timms and the Washington, D.C. FOA office, uh -huh. and all the way up to my local. And to, to, to finally, when Levi called, someone actually called me the next day and says, okay, there is no, the farm bill, because I was under the assumption that it had passed. Okay. okay. And so when they said, well, you know, they had a conference that the president had, Obama had to sign into law, and that the Senate passed the farm bill, but the House uh, passed a committee, committee for the resolution for drought assistance. And that's for yes. like, and that's, that would consume, that would include uh, LFP, which is livestock foraging program, and the ELAP, which is uh, something livestock assistance program. Uh, and so those two programs, now we already, as you know, we're talking about have crop insurance, but right. people like me who only have like 10 acres, I don't have crop insurance sure. because I'm, I'm over, I have horses and cows, right. you know, and so I'm, I'm devastated by $50 a bail, $100 a bail. Sure. Trying to get it now, I'll be lucky if someone tells me it's $50 a bail. So I was wondering what's going to happen when they, when, what, what day do they actually go back? September the 10th, I believe, is the, the first day back in session after recess. Okay, and do yeah. you know if the committee is meeting right away? For the, the, the farm, farm bill? Yeah. The, the farm bill has passed out of the committee, but it has not been brought to the floor. And at this point in time, we do not know if leadership is going to bring that, bring that up yet or not. That, that has not been determined. Um, I know there's been talks of it, but nothing has been, has been finalized. So. Have, have there been any uh, proposals to bring farmers down to the floor to, to give you know testimony? It's just as that gentleman just did about what the, you know the drought is doing to them. Because I mean, I live in a dust bowl. When my, when my dogs move on their chain, I just get dust everywhere because there's no grass nowhere. And, um, and I know that a lot of times they'll bring people in to testify in committee, and I, I'm not sure uh, just because I'm not in D.C. I'm in the district who all came in and testified. I know that our office is very much aware um, of how much it's hurting the farmers, especially you know here in the fourth district, um, but that's you know all over the state as well. And so that you know, as a farmer herself, Vicky, you know, is, is very much well aware of how, how much the drought is affecting farmers. And she's talked with them, you know, we were out at the state fair last week, um, talked to a lot of farm, farmers out there, and I mean it's 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 hurting people pretty bad. And like we said, like you know, you mentioned, we we have passed that. Okay. Um, the drought relief, you know, we're really hopeful that the Senate will, will bring that up. Um, I, I would like to give a suggestion. You, okay. you, have you heard of the high tunnel greenhouses? I, I don't know much about it. I've okay. heard the name, but I, yeah. What, what they are are these greenhouses that um, the USDA, through the uh, National Resources and Conservation Service, NRCS, mm -hmm. as um, FSA also has them as well, where they fund them. And so uh, it was an idea of mine that with all this farm, you know, nothing grew this year. If, with, if we can actually get a farm bill and say, for the smaller farmers to just say, hey, you guys, you didn't, you didn't grow anything, you didn't get any crops, but if you had these greenhouses, you could grow crops throughout the year, and it wouldn't matter how much water if you irrigated. Um, what happened was I applied for it last year, and I think they only had like $1.3 million in the budget for high tunnel greenhouses. Yeah. And so I did send an email, and I did get a, a contact back. Someone did contact me back when I requested that there be more money added to the high tunnel greenhouse program. Okay. And um, I think that it could be marketed just to more than just, say, the rural farmers. It could even go to, say, someone with a backyard that has, and it would, it would create a bigger food source for us to sell locally. So we wouldn't have to ship it far if we got people to grow. And it wouldn't take, they, I think there are something like 
um, 18 by 10. So they're about 10 feet, uh, they're about 10 feet wide okay. and about 18 feet long. And they grow food 24, no, seven, the easiest way to describe it. Um, 